Hi, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use Pro Groups for Unity. Uh, once you have it installed, uh, pretty straightforward, just need to go up to the Window tab here, and down to 6x7, and then Pro Groups. We get the window here, and then uh, it's set up to work in a nice vertical um, view, so you can just drag that right over to the side, set it up like so, uh, and then when you have it ready, just click Connect, and it'll connect to the scene, set itself up, and get ready to go. Uh, so in here we have, uh, like the documentation explains, uh, a bunch of buttons, uh, all pretty straightforward in what they do. Um, we'll just go through them one by one. Uh, the first one here is just a way to select any groups that you already have created uh, and then do a selection to it. Uh, sorry, select all the items in that group or update it with your selection. Um, you can select um, by a name. Uh, sorry, name of a material component or script, anything in the script in the uh, in the scene. Uh, you can select multiple groups at once, remove the groups, uh, which will not delete the objects, uh, but it will remove the group as all. Hide multiple groups, show them, uh, invert your selection here, clear the selection or create entire new groups, and of course clear them all. Uh, so we'll take a look uh, in detail at each of those. First thing we need to do is to create a group. Start with, so down here on the bottom I can uh, type in a name, so let's say group A and select a few items uh, that you want to make into groups. So let's say in this case um, I'm selecting all the roof parts here and I'm actually going to rename this to roof bits and click new group and then I will select say uh, a few of these wall parts Something like that. Okay. And call that wall bits. And as you see here, this uh, we have the uh, groups filling up there. Uh, the last group I might want to create is for all of the wooden parts on this, perhaps. Uh, and I could go through and select these one by one. Of course, that'd be really tedious and slow. Uh, so now we have this awesome new ability here. I can uh, just select by uh, material name, component, or script. And in this case, I know the material name on here is called wood. So I'm just going to type in wood and click material and bam it selects everything that has that on it. Uh, of course some of these uh, also have the wood and another on there so I'm going to have to uh, remove them from the group I suppose. Uh, although in this case it's, it's good enough it works. So let's type in wood in here and click new group. Okay. So we have a couple groups, now we can do things to them. So up on the top now you see under quick select, we can select any one of these groups. Just, uh, just choose it and then hit select group and it'll pick it just like that. Uh, if I want to change the group, I could say um, you know, I want it to be just these, but for some reason I also want to include, uh, let's see, maybe this wall right here. I can choose that and then click update group and now with that selected it will select that as well. Um, so just a simple and quick way to update your groups as you need to. Uh, we also have a couple more options down here. Um, you can select uh, by component of course so if you know something has a specific script or uh, even something as simple as um, render component click that and it will select everything that has a render on it. Uh, sometimes handy, especially if you want to select anything with a rigid body or everything with a collider or everything with a hinge. Uh, it'll select that for you, real nice and easy. Uh, so then under group, uh, group actions, we can do a couple things to multiple groups at once. So anything I check on, like this, is going to be affected by these group actions. So if I select uh, roof bits and wooden and click select, it's going to select both of those groups or just one. And of course I can also use this, uh, I can remove a certain group. So let's say for the wall, I can click remove. And as uh, this little dialog box says, uh, the group objects, nothing in the group will be deleted. Um, and they'll, be, be, they'll become visible if they were hidden. Uh, it can't be undone, so make sure you're really sure you want to. That just removes the group like so. Uh, I can recreate that group. We'll do it now, just have an extra one. I'm going to select all items of that material. 
and create a new group for it. Okay. Uh, so then the hiding is one of the really uh, nice features. Let's say I wanted to hide all the walls here so I can get a better look at what's going on inside. Uh, maybe even the roof parts. So select those two and click hide. And kabam, we can see the nice inner structure here. Uh, very simple. And then I can unhide them one at a time if I like. Just like so. So very simple. Um, also, if I have, uh, if you have a lot of groups, uh, you can quickly clear all the selection with that button, handy, or just invert it, like so. That just works on the selection there. Uh, then of course we had the new group button here, which we've seen work already, and the clear all. If you click this, it will warn you you're going to clear all the groups. Anything hidden will become unhidden, uh, but the actual objects, of course, will not be deleted again. So if you click OK, all your groups are gone. And there you have it. So that's just a quick use of the groups. Uh, of course, uh, while well, I am using this with the uh, Pro Builder script that I also have, uh, it, you can use it with anything at all in Unity. It doesn't have to be only with Pro Builder. Uh, anything you like to use it with, it'll work just fine. So very, very handy for keeping track of objects, hiding and showing them um, can be really useful, uh, and all sorts of neat things, especially the selecting by uh, component or script or material. Great way to keep track of what's in your scene and keep things organized.